RV. We are in Milwaukee, Oregon, right outside of Portland. And we are here at the Bob's Red Mill Factory World Headquarters. So this is a product that we just love. Uh, it has about 25, I think it makes about 27% of their product sales are gluten-free. So they have a huge variety of gluten-free products, but then a lot of really uh, quality, whole grain products as well. A huge, huge variety from cereals to breads to cakes to uh, muesli, all sorts of different varieties. We're about to go into the factory tour and see the mill itself, see how the process is done, and hear more about uh, Bob's Red Mill and the history behind it. So, come on in. It's actually our number one selling product ground flax meal. So many people have discovered that adding two tablespoons of flax to their diet every day really improves their health in a very noticeable manner. Flax is a wonderful, wonderful little seed. Inside the seed is an oil called omega-3 fatty acids. It has lignans in it. That oil is a natural cholesterol reducer. It's good for your skin and your heart muscle. Every organ of your body benefits from flax oil. Now, we recommend two rules when you're eating flax. Fresh is best and raw is best. Always pay attention to the sell by date on the side of the package and use it up in a timely manner. Always keep your flax in the refrigerator. It has a very high oil content. So keep it in the refrigerator, eat it fresh. And the second rule, raw is best. Try to eat it raw. So after you cooked your hot cereal, that's when you put on your two tablespoons of the flax meal. Or maybe you want to put it on top of cold cereal or granola. You want to sprinkle it on top of a green salad. Some people mix it with applesauce or with yogurt. Now, if I'm going to cook pancakes or muffins, or I always put flax meal in there, because the other big benefit of flax is the fiber benefit. In fact, if you know somebody that takes extra fiber, um, psyllium or metamucil, switch them over to the flax meal, because they get all the benefits of the fiber plus those wonderful omega-3s in their diet. We love to use flax in just about everything. Remember, the best place to put flax every day is in your mouth. Two tablespoons <laughs> for everybody. Questions. How many different buildings have you kind of grown out of? And when well, do you think you'll be growing out of this one? Yeah, <laughs> well, how about starting with my garage? Okay. Oh, oh, wow. 1969. I bought the uh, equipment uh, out of an old uh, water-powered flour mill in Fance, Bill, North Carolina, and uh, they were going to tear the building down, and we heard about it. So we, we got a couple of millstones and bucket elevators and drain cleaners, and we put them in a big van and brought them out to California, Reading, where I was at the time, and we filled our garage with this stuff. But we didn't know what to do with it. We didn't have any power to really make anything work. So we stared at it, took it apart, we read books about it. Finally, I said, if we're going to do anything with this, we're going to have to find a place to put this stuff. So that was one location, and we moved to a Quonset hut. Okay. It was 2,500 square feet, but it was it worked fine. Yeah. And we put the mills in, and we had a window like this, and people could walk in. At that time, I would walk through the door if they wanted cornmeal or something, and I would package off of the five pounds of cornmeal and sew the bag shut and take it back around <laughs> and hand it to them. Oh my gosh. And we did a lot of that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that fresh. We grew out of yeah. that. That's fresh. We had parking places, and we grew out of that real quick. And we moved from there to 18,000 square feet in uh, the middle of red. Yeah, and uh, the boys are still there now. Two of our boys are still there now. But they're spread out all over town because that building isn't big enough. They're doing granolas over here. They're doing corn grits over there. Anyhow. What's the brand on that one, though? Morse flour. Morse. That was our original. Uh, and the boys do uh, all of our, uh, all of our, I, just saw, I was just looking at pictures this morning. We're getting ready to uh, make a new calendar. And, 
and I'm, I'm, I've asked our, uh, our two sons, two of my three sons, uh, to give us some nice pictures of the granola coming off the line and everything. And, uh, they were really nice pictures. So, uh, and that, okay, so then, Reading is a town at the time of 20,000 people. We have three families. There's no way we're gonna make a living for three families. So I uh, gave them the mill, moved to Portland to, uh, to go to seminary, Western Evangelical Seminary. It used to be, oh, I don't know, two and a half miles from here. So I didn't have a mill then. And then after being here a very short period of time, I ran across the mill and she's gonna show you and you will see from there on the history of Bob's Red Mill uh, here in Portland, Oregon. And there, it's, there we go. That red mill over there was the first one that I had here in Portland. And I, that uh, burned down and then we moved, well, you know, if we don't ever count the, the, the three little small locations, you don't even know about those. I've heard. Yeah, anyway, but not counting those because we had, had to do something almost overnight if we were going to yeah. stay in business. And it didn't burn all our equipment up. So, so did the stones survive? We saved enough stuff to keep the thing going. And uh, and then we moved into the, does anybody know about Nature Bank, Dave's Killer Bread? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah Dave's. Okay, well, that was our, our next location, 50,000 square feet. We moved there. But as soon as we moved in, we were we didn't have enough space, just about. So we had uh, we rented 10,000 square feet across the street, then 20, then 30, and that wasn't big enough. So then we went down a ways and rented 80,000 square feet, still being where we were. And all of this just wasn't working. We were trucking all night long, going crazy. So this became available. This was. Uh, Myron Frank's Master Warehouse, uh, seven acres under the roof on 15 acres. So I thought, you know what, we should be able to do this for the rest of my life anyway. First birthday. So it was a very generous, very incredible gift. He said he did it because he never wants this company to get bought out by a huge uh, profit conglomeration of a company that's only interested in profits. And he said, the only way that I can ensure that the quality and the integrity of the company that I have birthed and brought into existence stays in existence is to give it to the employees because it's their jobs and they will take care of it. So for us, it works like a pension plan. We receive stock free of charge. We don't have to buy the stock. It's a gift to us for every year that we work here. And then when we retire, we sell the stock. We have to sell the stock back to working employees. So the only people that will ever own this company are working employees. So it's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful program. Now, 
If you look at one of our bags, 100% stone ground whole wheat flour, you can't find the word enriched on that bag. We are not required by law to enrich our flour because we never robbed it of the natural richness that comes from the whole grain, from the earth itself. We like to say that eating whole grains is a whole lot better for you. Hi, we're outside at Bob's Red Mill Retail Store and Cafe. Ashlyn and I are gonna head in for a gluten-free lunch and uh, check out all the products inside. And take a look at the building, it's beautiful. So we've been shopping and eating lunch for the past hour and we're taking home some items in bulk. So normally I buy, I order off of Amazon or buy them in the individual packets, but there's four packets to a box here. And so I'm buying some of the packets that I use just very frequently. One of them being the pizza crust, the gluten-free pizza crust, large red milk. Um, we also use a cornbread mix quite often with chili and other soups. It's really one of the best cornbread mixes out there, gluten-free or not. Uh, cinnamon raisin bread mix. The homemade wonderful bread mix. And then the hearty whole grain bread mix. All gluten free products. Um, I'm also picking up some steel cut oats because we uh, really enjoy their gluten free uh, cooking oats, but the steel cut oats are also delicious. So these, this is probably saving me between probably between $30 and $40 between the no sales tax in Oregon and then buying them in bulk and then buying them at the, uh, at the source themselves. So it's a good deal. So we decided to use Marvy storage for this trip. And, uh, and I thought I'd leave you with a, a quote that we should all remember as we, as we think about nutrition. It says, if I had known I was going to live this long, I would have taken better care of myself.